hello guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time to be here you are most welcome my name is jenna tungo okay so this is the hair that i'm going to work with it's called guest girl by angels and uh, it is in color number one and uh, each packet has eight bundles okay okay so i went ahead and sectioned my hair from ear to ear and then what i did at the back section is just some simple cornrows basic basic cornrows okay to install this hair of course you'll need to have your crochet needle i will go straight ahead and explain to you what i'm doing okay so i'll just go ahead and take my crochet hook or my crochet needle and i'm going to pass it onto my natural hair and uh, after that i'm going to open the hook then attach the crochet hair and then i'll just go ahead and uh, close the hook then pull the um then pull the hair out okay so i'm going to show you again once i've, I've placed uh, my crochet needle through my uh, natural hair i'm going ahead and attach my crochet hair and then after that i'll just uh, go in and um, close my crochet uh, hook then pull my hair out so literally guys it is as simple as that okay and again if in case you're wondering um how many packets i use so i only use one packet to crochet the back side of my hair so one packet is just more than enough and uh, this hair that i'm using i uh, i bought it at uh, my local beauty store and uh, it retailed for 370 kenya shillings just in case maybe you want to buy so guys as you watch this video please consider subscribing if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you may be notified anytime i upload a new video so after placing my crochet hook through my natural hair i'm going to give this uh, crochet hair some little twist there and then i'm going to hook it on to my crochet uh, hook exactly as you can see in the video then i'm going to just after full pull, pulling it out i'm going to um just knot it once okay so guys like i said earlier if you're going for cornrows at the front and then crocheting at the back then this hair one packet is just more than enough okay so as you watch this video please um consider subscribing and also your comments are very much welcome and don't forget also to share this video to any person who you feel it's going to be of help to them in one way or another and guys i will truly truly appreciate your support and yeah <laughs> and also guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up okay <laughs> okay so i'm almost done with the installing this um crochet hair at the back of my hair so for the feeding braids i'll be using the normal um uh, the normal braiding hair okay so i went ahead and i part my hair at an angle so literally at the front section it depends what you're going for okay so with me i just parted my hair at an angle exactly as you can see in the video so here i am just you know going in with um trying to get my uh, my hair straight and neat okay so after that i'll just go ahead and put this hair aside and uh you know start uh, braiding my hair so i'll be taking in some small amount of hair at the front uh, part and then after that i'll just go ahead and start braiding so guys what i'm doing right now i'm just braiding my hair about uh five steps okay i'm braiding my natural hair about five steps and then from that i will start adding in uh braiding hair okay so i'm going to flip it like so okay as you can see in the video then i'm going to take one strand and hook it onto my index finger and then i will braid once 
after that i'll go ahead and take the uh, remaining strand i'm going to flip it uh onto my index finger again and then i'm going to braid twice okay so after braiding it twice i'm going to take my braiding hair again i'm going to flip it like so and then i will take one strand of uh, braiding hair and then i'm going to braid once and then after that i'm going to take the remaining strand that i remain and then i'm going to flip it i'm going to hook it onto my index finger and braid twice so guys explaining this is very very hard for me to explain but uh, i'm just hoping that uh, you guys are able to see and uh, just uh, learn a thing or two so i'm going of course i'm going to explain to you uh, one more time but uh, you know just understand me because i'm really trying so hard to explain for you all to understand what i'm doing so after braiding my natural hair about uh, five steps okay i'll go in and start uh, feeding in braids and guys i'm very very sorry for the noise i don't know what my neighbor is up to <laughs> but uh i think there's some construction or something going on so i'm very 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 sorry about the noise okay <laughs> So guys there are many ways on how you can um feed in your braids and uh you can check uh videos on how to feed in braids you can just uh type and uh, you'll see different ways on on which you can uh, uh feed in your braids guys so this is just one of the ways and uh if you feel that uh, it is kind of hard <laughs> okay if you think that uh, it is hard for you to get uh, what i'm doing there are many videos you can go and check them out on how to feed in braids and i'm sure you'll just um you will find a video that uh, you it will be of help to you okay so like i said before there are many ways to uh, feed in braids okay so guys i'm going to explain to you one more time so after braiding my hair about five times i will start feeding in braids okay so after flipping it over i'll go in and take one strand of braiding hair okay and then i'm going to braid once okay like so i'm going to braid once then after that i'll go in and take the other strand that i remain and i'm going to hook it onto my index finger and i will braid twice okay so literally guys that is all what i have been doing like i said before if you're like if you not understand this technique there are so there are many videos here you can go check it out on how to feed in braids and i'm sure if you are interested enough to learn then uh, you'll of course learn and get the hang of it so i'm almost done with the uh, feeding in braids and like i said earlier if you want to learn there are many videos here in youtube you can go and type of course and of course if you are interested you will learn so yeah <laughs> After I'm done with the whole process, I'll of course go in and lay my edges and then I'll use my hair mousse just to ensure that um, there are no flyaways or anything of sort. 
okay so it will take care of all the flyaways guys and here i am installing my um, beads and i'll be using my crochet hook if you don't have a beader of course you can use your crochet hook and uh, install your beads okay so guys i'll come back uh, to you with the finished look and again before i forget i um dip the ends of these braids in hot water just to seal in the ends and to make sure that, again there are no flyaways okay so i'll come back uh, to you with the finished look so guys here i am and i'm loving the final look and yeah this was it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you again in my next and take care and bye for now